Hey guys, and welcome to this another wonderful tutorial by Helper Tuts. In this tutorial, or let's just say this series, we are going to create a wonderful comment box. So let me navigate over to my comment box, and you will see what I mean. So here's my comment box with submit button, text area, and name field. And it's also going to display our comment box, and let's just comment a uh, word out. This is a great comment box. And you can comment it out, as you can see, we have a comment box. And problem with most comment box that I have seen is when you reload the page, they tend to duplicate because they tend to insert in the database. So let's try this one. A reload is not going to do that because I fixed the error. I'm going to show you how to do that. And sometimes if I delete this user, and reload the page, and there's well, let me just un can really undo that so let's just type that comment back in this is a comment box comment to that the second one's going to be helper tuts this tutorial is also great as you can see we have all little blue lines dividing our comment box and a little big line that divides our comment box and the comment area. So if I delete a user, when you load the page, it's not going to delete other comment because I fixed that error too. It's not an error, but it's like to do something. You know what I mean. So let's just delete this too. And let's just start with our database. Click on comment and I'm going to drop it. Okay. Let's create a database called comment, a table called comments, and we need three fields, ID, name, and integer, I mean ID, name, and comment. The uh, name field type is going to be text, 50 characters, I mean, var, var car, var char, whatever, text, comment type is going to be text, and we're going to make our ID, primary, auto increment and save that table as you can see we have a nice little wonderful table with ID as in primary key as you can see because it's underlined so let's get started with the PHP comment this is really the PHP comment it's not much as you can see here it's not really much and let's, let's get started first thing you want to do is create a new PHP file delete all this keep the PHP codes because we're gonna need them I'm gonna open a new HTML file so I can copy the HTML code with the doc type over so let's say no because I just copied and there you go let's give it a title of a comment box and I need to be aware of my timing because I don't want to take too much time Let's create a table in our body tag and delete extra spaces inside the table. I mean, inside the tape before the table, we are going to create a form tag. Delete all other parts except for the starting form tag. Action is going to be itself, which I think we're going to name it index.php. Uh, methods going to be post and let's add the table tag after the I mean form tag after the table tag ends. So now let's get started with the coding. First, we're going to create a table row. Inside that, we're going to create a table data. And first thing we're going to do is create a name field. Second thing we're going to going to do is create a table data row again and put it as input. Type will be text name will be name and that's all we need I can duplicate this by going edit duplicate line and all I gotta do is change comment delete this part right there and let's just call them span we want I uh, comment 
label and comment area in different fields because comment area is too big and it's gonna make your thing look nasty so we're gonna make the column span too you're gonna duplicate this line again and I don't know this shortcut for you guys who wants to well, who wants shortcut every time but help you out and in the second part we can create input I mean not input text area my bad about that text area we're going to give a name of comment because that's going to be name I guess and now let's create our final thing which is um other something button you can call and span this too and we create input types gonna be oh uh, types gonna be submit names gonna be submit and values gonna be comment let's save this real quick in my help it touch folder comment wow I had folder thing no clue why so let's get started with our PHP coding so first thing we're going to do is send the data to the database so it actually posts this whatever first let's just check this page we just made so I'm going to go to my local host open tuts comment and there you see oh well let's get started with our PHP coding first we're going to say require connect.php which we are going to create in the next tutorial second thing we want is the post variable so first variable I'm going to create is name give it a post variable of name this this basically means the name name we give out gave out second one's going to be comment equals dollar underscore post uh, and is going to target our comment text area as you can see here we named it comment third last but not least is the submit button and we're going to target to our post submit button I don't know why I'm saying button instead of button and then next we're going to create a statement which is going to say if the user presses submit button then we're going to do this and we don't need the else part so we, in the if part we're going to say one more if which is going to target to our name and then comment field this basically means if they both are filled out then we're going to do this else we are going to echo out our error message which says please fill out all the fields and in the if part we're going to say dollar insert query equals oh well I can just make it insert equals my SQL query and we're gonna do this insert into comment and then create a name and a comment which this targets to our our database um fields name and comment and by the way if you don't get this tutorial or you don't get part of it just comment it out and I will be willing to help you guys and we're gonna create a values which is going to contain our name variable and comment variable so let's save this and we still have five more minutes so let's go to this uh well let's create our new page which is going to contain our mysql connect information first thing we're going to do is create a connect function which is mysql connect first thing is your local host or 
whichever host you use second thing is password uh, uh, username and last thing is password by default mine is blank then we're going to select our database which is mysql select db and our database was comment save this as uh, connect.php as you can see we have everything set up now let's check our code one more time let's check it out so here we are in my local host and this was testing so let's just delete that and I'm gonna say helper tuts this is a test commented app as you can see right there we have a comment with ID of two yours gonna be ID of one because I just had I just did testing which gave an ID of one so as you can as we can see we have our form working in the next tutorial we are going to create the rest of the page which is going to display our comment right down on the bottom till then see you guys have a nice day see you next tutorial subscribe rate and comment please